Hello everyone and welcome to Art Smart. Today we're going to be talking about the Art and Sound phonograph or record player from, uh, actually you can purchase this mostly over at Big Lots. Uh, that's the, seems to be the most common place for people to get this, but of course you can get it online too. Uh, this is a record player that I uh, picked up because I've been looking to play records and also just kind of have something that looks kind of cool in an old-fashioned cabinet that I have. Now let me tell you this right off the bat when I'm giving this particular review. I am not a huge audiophile. I don't collect pristine records or anything like that. I'm a very average record collector where I pick things up from the Goodwill or sometimes free off of Craigslist or something here or there. For the most part, I understand that these records are probably towards the end of their uh, life, and I just like to listen to old records from time to time. So uh, I'm not going to be giving tons of like specs or anything like that. I also realize that Art and Sound uh, apparently online has a lot of people that criticize it for putting too much downward pressure on the needle when it comes to the record. Uh, meaning that there's a little bit too much drag, which could uh, slowly kind of deteriorate your records. I, but the, here's the thing. Uh, most records that are going to be, record players, I should say, in like the hundred or so dollar range are going to be uh, kind of like that. I'm sorry, I've looked around and virtually everything that's kind of in my price range is going to have that knock. So at the end of the day, I, I get over it. You know, uh, I'm not going to put any pristine records on to this record player. You know, it's older records. Who cares? That's my per personal opinion. Take that as you will. Anyway, so as an average person, here's my opinion on the art and sound record player. I think that uh, its retro design is pretty cool. I think that it works relatively well for what it's uh, supposed to be. It's supposed to look like it's a uh, throwback antique design while also having a CD player attached to it and things like that. It is not supposed to be specifically mocking any type of past device. It's just supposed to have an antique look. And I think it works well for what it does. Um, it looks cool on a shelf and it does look like that it's from a bygone era without trying too hard to be anything specific and I'm personally fine with that. If you're looking for something which is a little bit more specific with what it's trying to emulate from the past, you probably don't want to go with this design. But I, I think it works fine. Um, I, I like the fact that it has a Bluetooth on it. It has worked quite well for me trying to utilize uh, like YouTube music and playing it through Pandora, places like that. It's uh, very good for listening to music uh, through my phone and hearing it through the speaker. Uh, it, the record player on it has worked relatively fine. Uh, it, it doesn't really have any bells or whistles on it. It will drop the uh, the needle relatively slowly, which is cool. But other than that feature, it really doesn't give you any other bells or whistles when it comes to uh, a record player. In general, I'm fine with that. But if you're looking for something which is more automated, you definitely want to look elsewhere. Uh, when it comes to the CD tray, it's about as basic as you get. The CD player is uh, very, very straightforward, and there's really no special features or anything like that. It's basically you, you play it, you skip, you, you stop. That's basically about all that you do. Uh, the tape player is very much the same. Uh, it's, it's about as basic of a tape player as you can get. I don't really like the fact that the tape player is uh, on the side of the unit, and uh, you just kind of stick it in. Um, I, I just feel like it kind of feels like an afterthought kind of being on the side, but I also recognize the fact that uh, they're trying to keep the unit very compact, and that was probably just design-wise the easiest way to get a tape player in there. So looks-wise, I'm not crazy about the tape player being on the side, but let's be honest, how often are most people pulling out cassette tapes at this point? At least for me, it's definitely not something that I do much. Um, I think the sound on it is pretty darn clear. Uh, it has a nice clear sound. There isn't a whole lot of static or additional uh, sound that their speakers make. It's pretty quiet. And the sound that it puts through is a pretty clear sound. Um, it's not terribly loud. Uh, you definitely, if you want it to broadcast it more than just kind of in a uh, relatively small room space, you're definitely going to want to get an, ad an, ad uh, an additional speaker that you can uh, attach to it. And it has pretty easy ports for you to put uh, some uh, speakers in, and so uh, it shouldn't be a huge problem. But the speakers themselves are not uh, hugely impressive when it comes to sound. I also notice a little bit when you switch between one uh, device or another that the uh, quality of of the volume changes. Uh, definitely the CD player seems to be quieter for some reason than the YouTube 
and uh, the record player. Uh, I'm sure there's a technical person that can tell you why that happens, but anyway, uh, the sound does seem to be quieter on certain aspects, and the tape player seems to be slightly quieter. Uh, nothing terrible, but it, it does seem to be a little bit of a sound difference. Here are just a couple quick things that I really don't like, though, about this device. Uh, one is there is no, at all, uh, remote control. I realize for the record player, that's not gonna, a remote control is not going to help you much. But with the CD player, it is kind of annoying that you have to, if you're going to skip ahead, you have to get up and skip directly on it. Uh, there's there's no uh, nothing for the tape player for you to skip ahead or rewind or what have you. It, it, you have to do everything manually. If you are switching between devices on it, you're going to have to get up and switch the knob in order to uh, do that. So a uh, remote control would have been a really nice add-on for this device. I realize it's probably keeping the uh, cost relatively lower, but uh, I would be willing to spend a couple extra bucks for a nice uh, remote control. Uh, another thing is that the knobs on it, although they look nice, they're kind of cheap. And when you are switching between the different devices, uh, the knob itself, it's hard to tell where you are notching it to. It does read on its uh, display panel what you are switching to, which helps. But in general, the, uh, the little indentation marks that are on it are kind of hard to read. And so I find that to be kind of cheap. It would have been nice if they would have made it a little bit chunkier and maybe made it a little bit easier to read what uh, you are clicking to. Um, also with the record player, it has a slot in the back where you have to slide the record in because the box is, is smaller than the average 33. Now, a lot of old record players did that, and they're, they're kind of emulating record players from the past, so it's not a huge deal, but I've never been a huge fan of having to slide a record into a little slot so that it can uh, expand past the box. It's just a personal thing. Um, it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal, but it's not my favorite part about it. In general, what do I think? I think this is a decent device. I think uh, for it seems to be in about the seventy some dollar range. I think it's okay for that price. I, I definitely think that uh, it should have came though with a remote control, and it would I would like it to feel maybe a little bit sturdier. Um, I, I feel like it's maybe slightly overpriced for what it is. Uh, it's not terrible though, and uh, for the average person that is looking to kind of just have an all in one and have something look cool on their shelves, it's not terribly priced. So I would recommend it slightly. Uh, definitely, if you want to spend a few extra dollars more and get a better device, certainly can, but I'm not terribly unhappy with the money I spent on it the way that it is. Hopefully this makes you a little bit more art smart, and hopefully you'll start bringing out your own records or getting grandma's records out and listen to a few here or there. Pretty cool to listen to, and it's just a great way to uh, feel the past and also experience the present. Have a great day. Bye-bye.